And here we are at First State Lanes with our first Zingo Championship Tournament. Our two lady competitors in our match today, Betty Moon is our first bower. And she's against Dorothy Penn. And this is Zingo, which is a different form of bowling. It's a handicap tournament. Without the handicap, the bowlers get a chance to decide when to use the strikes that they are given. And each bowler gets so many strikes based on their average. And Betty starts out with a spare. And the idea is to use your strikes to the best advantage. The bowler throws the first ball and decides whether they want to shoot the spare or yell out Zingo and utilize one of their strikes. And there's Dorothy. And they're in the first frame here. The winner of this match will receive $100 and a chance to go to the second match. All right, nice shot by Dottie Penn. Made that split. 310. Now she's coming up on lane one for her second shot. The uh, loser of the match gets a $50 consolation prize. Qualifying took place yesterday and last week. Yesterday at First State and last week at Bolarama. And the winner from Bolarama will go against the winner of this match for further prizes. A six count for Dottie. And she missed it. Gives her 23 through two. And Betty Moon coming up. Betty has three children and two grandchildren. Demi is 26, Kevin 20, Brandon is 14, and two grandsons. Marquise is six, and Kevin Jr. is just over a month old. She got interested in bowling by bowling with her mother. And she's placed in the TNBA tournaments in Reno and Chicago. And she also placed in last year's Bowers Gazette Handicap Singles. And this is her second TV appearance. She just made that spare. And she's been bowling for 20 years. She bowled this past winter in the Youth Adult League with her son. She says, the people who have influenced her the most on her bowling, at first it was my mother, because she bowled, traveled, and enjoyed it. Now, my son, Brandon, it is quite a pleasure to see his improvements and accomplishments, is what she has to say. And a good shot by Betty Moon. And that gives her a good strike in the third, and an eight pin lead in the tournament. And we have Dorothy Penn, single. She has two children, Darius and Demetrius, 10 and 7. And a five pin is what she leaves. They're both good friends. They bowl together. She got interested in bowling. Uh, she got interested in the post office bowling link. 
He's also placed in TNBA tournaments. Spalling about six years on and off. Oh, and she missed the five pin. She says her biggest influence is her bowling competition today, Betty Moon, because she has a unique way of letting me know I need to make adjustments. Well, she made an adjustment there, and there's a strike by Dottie. And we'll be right back with more after this tombstone break. With Betty Moon on lane two. And Betty gets a strike. Gives her a double. Said so we had qualifying for the tournament at Boarama and First State. This is our first TV appearance of Zingo. We've had a couple youth matches, and we're going to tape one of those today as well. And for the bowlers who have bowled in Zingo, they really get a kick out of it. And it's a challenge. And our first Zingo is announced. So what happens, instead of shooting the spare, Betty gets a strike in place of that shot. And she uses one of her Zingos. She now has three in a row. And that's the best way of utilizing your Zingo strikes is when you've got a string of strikes going. That extra 30 pins can make a big deal of difference in the course of a game. And here's Dottie Penn. She gets herself a 5-8, and she is calling a Zingo. She's utilizing her first Zingo strike. Keep herself in the match, gives her a double. There's Betty looking on. Each bowler gets five Zingos. And she Zingoed again. So she's utilizing her second Zingo of the game. Said they get so many Zingo strikes based on their average. Instead of handicap, we go with the Zingo. And here's Betty Moon in the sixth frame. And she yells Zingo. So she utilizes her second one. Bowers her bowling for a actually $50. Second gets 50. The champion will get 100 and a chance to bowl in the next match for another 100. And Betty pulled that ball over. And she's debating. Looks like she's going to shoot this one. should have gone with the Zingo. But that's the choice of the bowler. That's what makes this interesting, is you have to figure out where best to utilize those strikes. There's Dottie. And a seven pin. She's thinking, should I, shouldn't I? Can't make up her mind. Should she, shouldn't she? 
That's what makes this interesting, huh? She's decided she's going to take a shot at the spare. Uh, she probably should have gone with the Zynga. And she's coming up in the eighth. 145 to 119, Betty is in the lead. Each four has three Zingo strikes left. And the winner will be going against Wendell Burke, our qualifier from Olorama. Uh-oh. No question what she's doing with that one. That's a Zingo, that's her third. She decided not to shoot that, opted out of the split. Good move by Dottie. Betty Moon coming up in the eighth. And she leaves herself a 2 8, and she's going for a Zingo. We'll be back after this tombstone break. And we brought it back this year and put it on TV for the first time. And yep, she called it Zingo. She used her last one to get that turkey. And she's got two shots left in the tent. And we'll see if she can catch up to Betty Moon. She's going to force Betty to get some strikes of her own in the tent. Dottie Penn. She's got a good 190 game. And both bowlers like tournaments because they like the competition, the excitement, and they like to meet people. Ah, uh, she pulled that one anyway. And that gives Donnie Penn of 192, and Betty Moon comes up to finish out the game. She's got one Zingo left. Winner receives a $100 and a chance to earn more in the next competition. Betty Moon in the 10th on lane two. And she yells Zingo to utilize her fifth strike. And that's going to give her the victory. So Betty Moon is our very first TV Zingo champ. She comes through with a strike of her own. So Betty Moon will go on and defend her Zingo championship against Boarama's Wendell Burke. And that match will be coming up next week right here on the Bowers Gazette. Betty finishes out with a nasty looking split, but she has a 232 in Zingo. A 40 pin win over Dottie Penn. We'll be right back with more after these words.